Okay, this is part seven and it's the end. So I removed the masking and now I have this area here that it's my fault. I could have done a better job of masking and maybe it had something more interesting, but you can see right here, this is kind of soft looking. Oh, and look, some of the splatters are actually sh the shadowed splatters that are out over this area. And of course, there's a little bit of shaping in here. There's a little bit of shaping in here. Then I'm not satisfied with that. And I need a few uh, reflections or shadows here and here. So we've got just a little bit to do. I'm going to take my my magic sponge here and a paper towel and I'm going to soften this edge and then I'm going to paint into it and see if I can make this more interesting, develop it a little bit more. Some of these white places, I might just leave white. Okay, that's just a, I thought that was a crumble, but it's not, okay. You know, I, I've got this thing where I like to take this sponge and paint with it. There we go. So you get kind of soft little bits of wash in there. But not everywhere. I mean, you could do this with a brush too, obviously. I'm not like stamping or something. And then Right up in here is a shadow. And you know, there's there's like a flow coming over here that actually has a, a, a an occlusion edge on it. Uh, I'm gonna put a little color into this. So I'm going to, I'm going to make that. So most of what I need to do here, I need to not do with the sponge. All right, so my next step is going to be to uh, dry this and I'll be right back. Now, I certainly hope that you did a better job than I did right up there. See, when I masked that, I didn't go to a small fine brush like I should have, because because those places should not be that big. I'm gonna try to kind of make them, I'm going to try to shrink them a little bit, but it's probably never going to read quite right. Oops, that's too much, too strong. Well, yeah, that's better. You know, that, that's hardly even noticeable. Okay, so over here, this area right here has a shadow, and I'm going to use the indigo, I think. And let's see. Well, I actually moved my rocks around, so that place doesn't really exist but I'll just make another one. It probably, uh, the water probably wouldn't do that right here. But what I'm doing is, oh, that's gonna blend up this way. It's way too strong. There. Okay. So that kind of makes a shadow on this foam stuff. 
So let's see, where else do we need a shadow? Well, we need a shadow right under there. Now, I made a shadow, but see, that's, that's too strong of a color. That's too bright to be a shadow. So let's take a little of the indigo and let's deepen it. Oops, there's a rock. And a nice little thing is like a little Yeah, a little ripple there. That's what that is. That's a ripple. This part is would probably crop off the picture, but we need that again, we need a shadow under here. Something like that. Here's another place. I'm still working with the indigo. Here's another place that would have some shadow on it. Does that look a little too dark? There, okay, maybe that's a little too light. There, we'll add just a little bit, and then let's take a little bit of that with a little bit of ultramarine and make a little bit of of some wash going that way. Yeah. I lightened it just a little bit. This, this just doesn't make me happy here at all. I'm using our, our turquoise mix. Oops, crumbles. There is nothing worse than a phthalo crumble because it will color everything. I really wanted some areas that were more ultramarine, but the ultramarine's really just a little too bright. So let's just take the ultramarine and let's just drop a little bit of indigo into it. Maybe, maybe that's about right. And so, I'm just adding little bits, okay? You can, you can just play with this. You know, look at your picture and play with it to your heart's content. Uh, maybe I need a little darker shadow on this rock. I'm just throwing a little indigo on top of this is what I'm doing. Oh. Here's a place. You know, you could look at the real rocks there. You could also just make up rock stuff. You see that looks more angular. It gave, gave, put a little extra life in it. Do a little bit more of that over here. And see, then we're in this place where I took the masking up, which I needed to take the masking up because I can't tell what needs what. But, hmm. This is just an example. In other words, don't follow me step by step, but this is sort of an example of the things I decided to do to it. Over here, remember I mentioned, I'm just going to put a little more blue into my turquoise. Now, over here, I mentioned that this area, well, first of all, it's darker than what I've got here. Let's just, this really wet, well, I don't, don't have it wet enough. More water. And let's push it up this way. These are splashes going on top of those splashes. And so, well, that would never do quite like, well, it's not actually too bad. But I, I, I thought I'd just weaken it. Yeah, okay. And then, also, there's going to be splatters 
on top of the foam. These are little droplets of water that are um, still within the shadow, but they're they're in front of this other. Well, the beautiful thing about that is now we've got these little darks over lights. So we've got a lot of lights over dark spots, and now we've got some uh, darks over light right here. So that's kind of cool. I really like that. There is more of a shadow up here. Now, I don't care whether it's really there or not, although there is one. It's a cue to me that if I wanted to put some more up here, if I preferred that shape to come up this way, that I could do it and it would and and be assured that it would be believable. So now let's come back over here and see what we can do with this this mess. This mess that I have created. Actually it's not too bad. Put a little, so this has a soft edge because you're seeing the sand through the water here. This little spot over here is actually dry-ish. I like that ish word. Okay, so. Okay, so we started this while ago up under here. And I'm going to do some little shapes going like that to kind of indicate where the water's kind of swirling up. I don't know how believable it'll be, but say little things like that. You can do stuff like that. Just whichever way you think the water's flowing, you know. Here the water's just kind of doing stuff. I'm just adding a little bit to the stuff that's already there. Right in there is a little bit of a shadow. Because not all of these whites are white white. Uh, if they're all white white, it's gonna be a little too flat. So right in here, actually it's a different place on this, but I'm putting it right there. There's gonna be just a little bit of shaping and you know, if I'm getting it a little too dark, I'll, uh, I'll just give it a little blot. So there's kind of like the shadows underneath some of this. It's really, really soft, really, really weak. You know, I'm not going to slavishly follow every bit of this. I'm just doing a little bit. So back here, I'm keeping this really light, but there are like little flow lines where this is kind of flowing in that way. Kind of getting the hang of the direction of this water now. So, I could probably put a little more color right in over here. Let's get that a little, a little bluer, a little deeper. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm sure I could do a little bit more to it, but that pretty much gives you an idea of what needs to go on. Maybe a little deeper shadow here. That kind of gives you an idea of what needs to go on and, and, and how to handle it. Don't try to do exactly what I did. If I did it over again, I wouldn't do it quite like this. You know, just, uh, just Play with it and um, and play with the water. Have fun playing with the water. You know, it's like a kid with a, a kiddie pool. You know, here you are, only you're using paint. Yeah, cool. Okay, this is the end of this one, obviously. Bye.